Day is day one back on carnivore. Yes, yet another day one. I'm not even going to call it day one, actually. I'm just saying that to say it. But the reality is that my goal every day is to eat closely to carnivore. And I don't always hit it. Last week I was on it and I was off it and I was on it and I was off it. But here's the thing. I'm not perfect, nor do I expect my clients to be perfect because the reality is, is that if you're coming to work with me, you're probably a food addict. Probably, maybe not. You probably have foods that don't work for your body, that you love eating. You have habits around food, how you've made your food choices in the past. And as much as I would love to just say, hey, let's snap our fingers and all of a sudden we're perfect, we're not. We're coming with trauma, we're coming with junk, we're coming with beliefs that aren't kind, there's just so many things that get in the way of perfection. And what I want to instill in everybody that I work with is this foundation of wellness. That no matter what happens, whether it's a plan to go off plan or an accident to go off plan, that they've learned to work and communicate with their body, that they've learned to find gratitude in taking care of their body and trust in themselves to come back to what works for their body, that they've created this foundation of wellness. They know what their body needs from them in order to feel amazing and fantastic and release the things that do not serve it, including the extra weight. And they have this trust to keep coming back to that. No matter what happens, no matter how many day ones that means, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You know what? Right now, what works amazing for my body is carnivore. But that doesn't mean I can achieve it every day. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Just like you might find something different that works for your body and you know it works and it feels good. You never have to apologize for when it works and when it doesn't work. Because if food is the only thing that you're thinking about, then we're not making it better. If you have gone to a barbecue and you're thinking about how can I sneak chip, chips so people don't notice? How many cupcakes can I have before someone says something or thinks something? Will they notice if I'm sneaking another cupcake? If my head is stuck in food, I'm not living life. And the goal of wellness is to live your life in the most vibrant and full and energetic way possible. That is the goal. If you're stuck in food and in those thoughts, you're not doing that anyways. So just eat the cupcakes and eat the Doritos and fuck what anybody else says. You're not perfect. You don't need to be perfect. You just need to learn what works for your body and keep trusting yourself to come back to it.